What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here. Guess what? I have another unboxing video for you. In this video, we're gonna be unboxing the 2017 March Wizarding World. The, the, that was a terrible introduction. We are gonna be unboxing the 2017 Loot Crate Wizarding World box. Ah, that probably wasn't a whole lot better. Anyways, this is the JK Rowling's Wizarding World box and it's supposed to be of Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts. Now, I believe that this box is gonna be the first box that Loot Crate has offered where it is house specific. So when you sign up, you have to pick a house and then they will theme your box after that house if that's what they're doing this month. And I think that's what they're doing this month because I think a lot of people complained in the previous months. If you're interested in getting this box, I'm gonna put all the pricing details in the description below for you. Once you cut the tape and you open up the box, this is what you're gonna see. Now I believe I picked Gryffindor when I signed up. Yes. <clears throat> I might eventually change that, but Gryffindor is my main house. Uh, Slytherin's my secondary house, but you know, I want to stick with what's true to me for a while until we figure out what's going to come in this box. I'm going to save this shirt for last. The first item we have is this beanie. It's a Gryffindor beanie. A little bit kind of a not great time, I guess, for beanies. I suppose it's still cold in certain places, and it's like pouring rain this week, but it has been getting pretty hot here in California. So beanies are cool. I would have definitely preferred this in the previous box that they gave because it was more like winter time. All right, the next item we have is this bag. It looks like a duffel bag. I'm not gonna lie, I thought I saw spo spoilers for this box, but now I'm starting to think I didn't because this doesn't look at all familiar. This is cool! So this is a licensed Harry Potter product. Uh, it's partnered with Loot Crate. And this is a Gryffindor duffel bag. It's kind of a small bag. These are pretty good for things like if you're going to the gym and you just need to bring like I don't know, a water bottle and a workout towel. Um, potentially if you're going for a really short sleepover and you don't need to bring too much, this might be good. Maybe like a, a travel size carry-on bag where it just has your essentials for the airplane. So this is actually really, really cool. I like this a lot. I love duffel bags. I've always loved duffel bags. I don't know why. The next item we got is our Loot Crate pin and it's of the sorting hat. So we obviously, we got sorted into Gryffindor. Although I'm not gonna lie, I've also been sorted in like the BuzzFeed things. I've been sorted into Slytherin before. I have gotten, I think, Ravenclaw like once or twice. I don't know. It's not necessarily Gryffindor 100% for me, based off of those quizzes online, which I don't know how true those are. The next item we got is a lanyard. Ah, one of the nicer Harry Potter lanyards that we've received. This is of, it's not house specific, but this is actually of, it just says Hogwarts and it says platform nine and three quarters. And it's cool because this is the type of lanyard that has the breakaway snappy thing. So if somebody accidentally like pulls your lanyard, it doesn't choke you. Instead of giving us a little rubber thing like most lanyards, we got a metal Hogwarts thing. I forgot what these are called, charm thing. And then we have the little ID badge. This ID badge is a little bit cheap. I could see this definitely ripping, but it's cool because the lanyard also comes with the clippy clip. So there we go. There's a picture of the Hogwarts Express and then here's like our fake train ticket. So that is cool. This is a BioWorld product, just in case you were wondering. And then the last item before the shirt is this green tube. Oh, the green tube. Oh, this just has what we got in it. So I'll put that back in. So the last item we got is our shirt, and this is a men's medium. Is this a, uh, oh, is it a Raglan shirt? Yes! This is a Raglan shirt. It looks a little bit wide for a medium, and it's a little bit short. It's a three-quarter sleeves Raglan shirt. This is a Loot Crate exclusive, and this just has the Harry Potter crest or logo or emblem. I don't know what you would call it, but I think the Harry Potter crest which is cool. I like this shirt. It does seem a little bit wide for a medium, but I'm sure it'll fit fine. I don't think these are supposed to fit really slim. Okay, so that's everything in the box. I think now we can go ahead and pull out our little scroll. I like the design on the back. This is what the scroll looks like, and it lists all the items. Hogwarts House Pride was the theme this month. Bravery, wisdom, ambition, and loyalty. Here we go. So the first item that we had is our Raglan shirt. Now, I think Raglan shirts should get a little bit more value than the normal $10 value. So I'm going to go ahead and give this, I'm going to give it like 
$13 for the shirt and then I'll add $2 because it's an exclusive. So I'm gonna give this $15. That might be, uh, I don't think that's high. Some of you guys might think it's high, but I don't think it's high. We got our sorting hat pin. This is a super, super small pin. I would honestly give this three, but I'll give it four because it's a Harry Potter item. We got our Hogwarts Express lanyard. Did everyone get this? I'm assuming because this isn't house specific. There's really only like two things house specific in this box, but our lanyard I'll go ahead and give. So at the stores, these things usually cost anywhere from six to eight dollars. I've been pricing them a little bit low. Um, I think I usually give them four dollars. I'll go ahead and give this, I'll go ahead and give this seven dollars. I like how they gave us a metal charm, although now that I'm listening to it, I don't know if I like it as much because it's kind of loud. We got our Gryffindor duffel bag, which I absolutely love. I would easily give this thing ten to fifteen dollars. I think that it's probably gonna go on a lot more expensive online, but let's go ahead and give this, let's give it 15. That's a little bit on the higher price point for me personally, but I'm pretty sure that people are probably gonna sell it for $30 online. And then we had our house beanie, Gryffindor. I'm gonna go ahead and give, is this a licensed product? Yes, it's a licensed BioWorld product. I'm gonna go ahead and give this beanie $10. I like this beanie and I like, it's really thick. I don't know if you can tell. It's not like a cheap thin beanie. It's licensed, it's a Loot Crate exclusive, and it's thick. It is thick. Again, not really my type of beanie. I like slouch beanies better. One of you guys said that you can take these beanies. Oh, there's a string attached to it. You guys said I could turn it inside out and then wear it as a slouch beanie. That would not look good. So maybe that wasn't meant for this type of beanie, I'm assuming. So according to my pricing, this box is worth $51. This box costs $40 if you get the monthly plan. I think I got the six crate subscription, which lasts a whole year, uh, which only equals $38, but we'll just go up the $40 price point. So if you pay $40 for this box, you got $11 extra value. For a $40 box, you're looking for around $12.50 extra value, so we were a little bit short on the value. I actually think I priced things fairly okay. I'm sure people, you probably could give this maybe five more dollars at most because it it's, I don't know, I just feel like that's gonna go for a lot of money on the internet. But I'm gonna stay true to my $51 price point. I think that I priced, that's my, that's that's my price point. That's, I think it fits normally how I price things. So we were a little bit short on the value, so that's a little bit disappointing. What do I think about this box? I feel like I like this box better than, than the boxes that we received in the past. I really like the creativity of some of the items, so I like the duffel bag, which is different. I like that they gave us a raglan tee, which is also different. Beanies are kind of, you know, whatever. Um, <clears throat> I like the pin. I wish it was a little bit bigger. It's kind of small. Uh, and then, uh, you know, we get a lot of lanyards, so that's not anything too special. The one thing I'll say is that I think they could have added one more item in this box. We really only got five items, and lately with Loot Crate, that's been the theme, is that even with these more expensive boxes, so like, you can get the regular Loot Crate box for $20, and I feel like those boxes have been giving me more items than all of the bigger boxes. Now, in theory, you are getting bigger items, sort of, I guess, between the beanie, the hat, and the bag, and these are like our filler items, but I think they could have easily added one more item to make this box just a little bit more worth it. If they would have had one more item, it definitely would have hit the price point that I'm looking for, and I think it would have made this box worth it. Because it didn't fully hit the extra value that we're looking for, I would probably give this box, I would say, I personally want to just give it a four out of five noobs. You might be able to give it a 4.25 out of five noobs because they did get a little bit creative with the items this month, which is very nice. So I think anywhere between a four and a 4.25. If you liked all the items, which I like all the items, I think the most you could give this box is a four point five. I think that it's still lacking a little bit in, you might be able to give it a 4.75. It needs a little bit more value, so probably one extra item. It's fine. It's a good box. It just, for some reason, this box never seems like as exciting as I feel like it should be. There's something about it, and I love licensed products. You guys should know me by now. Like, I love getting licensed products. I love getting exclusive products, but for some reason, this specific, like, the Loot Crate Harry Potter box, it just doesn't ever seem, like, overly exciting. I do like the items this month and I think that they're getting more creative and I'm excited to see what the next box is going to look like and I hope that it's it's just like one step above this one and it you know that we get a ton of extra value and that it just feels really really good but I don't feel like I felt like that and and probably the reason is because I'm sure I had some really extraordinary expectations for this box and they just haven't really been meeting those expectations which I feel like might be the case for a lot of people actually is that when Luke Crate said they were going to come out this box and they put JK Rowling's name on the box it was like this box is gonna be amazing and the first box was not that great the second box was not that great and this is the third box and it's it's good it's good I like it it's just I feel like I want more so hopefully the next box 
feeds that hunger in me, hopefully. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there. And you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this box. I'm always interested to hear your thoughts about if this is, like, the best box that they've come out with, like, between the three um, boxes that they've released. Is this your favorite one, or where does it rank with the other ones? Um, you can check out my channel if you want to see the previous ones. And also, what do you guys think about this box compared to the Harry Potter Geek Gear box, which are the two main Harry Potter boxes that I have on my channel. What are your guys' thoughts? Let me know down below. And remember, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions are blocked or set to private, you will make it on my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!